Taylor Fritz looking very good out there, my man. Do we officially call you a serve bot or no? Because, I mean, that was about as good a serving day as one could have. Yeah, I mean, here here in Madrid, definitely, it's, uh, it's moving. I served really well today. I mean, I've been, I've been serving well all year, I feel like, but, yeah, it's definitely clicking. 88% you won on the first serve, 76% on the second, which is super high on clay, no break points faced. It's not just the pace that you're bringing and the aces, but you're serving a, a smart ball game, too. How are you, are, are you kind of in the flow of it when you're making those decisions? Yeah, I'm, I'm mixing it up. I've played Hubie, like, you know, a lot of times as well. I have an idea of which serves he thinks I'm going to go to on, on big points, you know, like everyone has, everyone has a favorite spot, so... Um, yeah, I mean, I, I know I have an idea of where he's going to be leaning, where he's thinking I'm going to be serving. So as long as, you know, I'm feeling good with my, I guess, less favorite spot, yep. then, it, you know, no worries. Uh, first set was a breaker here. Mm -hmm. Pretty strong breaker you played, 7-2. Yeah. Uh, you played him earlier this year at United Cup. Again, a couple of breakers there. You won both. On the big points, you seem to be picking really well on his serve. Are you are you reading it? Is it is it more sort of reactionary with him? It's it's reactionary. Obviously, I I started the match uh, up, holding a backhand grip and then just looking to chip forehands. Okay. Uh, I feel like it was pretty good for putting returns in the court, but just my court position to play the point afterwards on clay being so far up uh, isn't the best. At 6-5, I went back because I wanted to experiment one before the tiebreaker to get an idea of what uh, I wanted to do for the tiebreaker. And immediately being back just felt a little bit better because when I could get the return in play, uh, I felt really good in the point if I could start it, you know, back behind the baseline, have a lot more time. So, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of what you play for with UB. It's going to be tough to break him no matter what. So focus on serve, take it to a breaker, and then try to just win some of those big points. Yeah, it was exceptional stuff today, man. Um, you're into the quarterfinals now. You're, you're one of the few players in the draw that knows what it is to actually win one of these thousand level events. Um, is there is there a, a, an up notch in uh, focus that you need to do in sort of the business end of these events? I think, I mean, I think the the focus already goes up. Once you, once you get like two, two matches into a tournament, for me anyways, I really feel like I start to settle in because I've established some uh, routines that are obviously working yeah. after like two matches so then I kind of you know I think that's why I mean 250 has been good for me I get a buy and play two matches and it's semifinals and it's like lock in for lock in for two matches and that's it so yeah I feel like we're getting to that point and uh, obviously the 1000s are, are are super important and I can't really I guess allow any any more bad Masters 1000s because this year the Masters 1000 performances haven't been great. Yeah, well, you're, you're doing great here and you're in fine form to, to keep it going. Um, thoughts on doubles? You guys, you, you and Ben will play doubles later today. It's always very interesting to me because sometimes you find the singles guys who they don't play doubles in events, sometimes you do play. What's your thought process behind uh, how you make that decision? So, I mean, I like to play it at the Masters. I think this new rule that we're testing with this week I think it's it's good for singles players if you lose early but it, it's awful for someone I guess like in my situation who's gonna have to play singles tomorrow I'd, I'd be doubling up I'd play doubles today and again tomorrow so it's just like I think in some aspects it makes sense in some aspects it doesn't make sense but uh yeah, I, I, I mean, I like to play when I can. You didn't get to worry about those matches. Look at your muscles coming through that muscle T. You're looking fit, T. You're ready for all this. Um, next round, you, you'll take on the winner of uh, Surindalo and, and yeah. Zverev, um, who, who, are, who are locked in in battle now. But um, the way you're serving, you gotta, you got to fancy your chances, huh, against whoever you're playing? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's always going to be the key. If I, can, if I can just serve, and, you know, I'll always accept it if I happen to lose in breakers. I can always... Yeah accept a loss if I'm not getting broken. So uh, I just got to go out there and do my job and, and, you know, serve well. And if I get breaks and it's an added bonus. All right, man. Well, listen, keep it going. You're looking strong and fit and uh, keep it rolling. Thanks, man.